Integration Objects is pleased to present this demo of its OPC UA wrapper. Integration Objects OPC UA wrapper is a powerful solution for OPC OPC UA communications that enables any OPC UA client to communicate with COM based OPC DA, HTA, and AE servers as if they were OPC UA servers. In this demo video, we will show you how to configure a wrapper service and how to add multiple local and remote classic OPC servers per service. Then we will demonstrate how to connect to the service using an OPC UA client and read real-time data, historical data, and alarms and events. Finally, we will explain how to configure the security policy of the wrapper service. This diagram illustrates the solution's typical system architecture. Integration Objects OPC UA wrapper acts as a bridge between classic OPC servers and OPC UA clients. In order to properly run the OPC UA wrapper, the following software components need to be installed on the target system. The .NET Framework version 4.0 or higher, the OPC core components, which consists of all shared OPC modules, the OPC UA local discovery server, which lists the OPC UA endpoints available on a given computer. This is the OPC UA wrapper interface. To begin with, add a wrapper by clicking the Add button available in the Home menu or by right-clicking the Count to UA root node and selecting Add Wrapper. The Add Wrapper dialog box will be shown. Enter the name for the wrapper you want to add. The name should not contain spaces or special characters. Then select the HTTP and the TCP port numbers used for the wrapper client communications. After creating the wrapper, a new node will be added to the COM2UA root node. Right-click on the wrapper node and select Add Servers. The Add OPC Server dialog box will appear. Browse the list of the OPC servers available in your local machine. To add multiple OPC local servers, select the server name from the server's tree view and the selected servers will be added to the grid view. Use the cross button to delete servers from this list. You can manually configure a remote OPC server by entering the OPC server name, the IP address of the machine that hosts this OPC server and the OPC server type, DA, HDA or ANE server. Click the Add button to confirm your configuration. The servers will be added under the desired wrapper. To start the wrapper, right-click on it and choose Start Wrapper from the Wrapper Context menu. A message in the log view will inform you of the progress. Furthermore, you can open Windows Task Manager, navigate to Services tab and look for the service you started. After starting the wrapper service, a certificate will be created and added to the store. You can stop the wrapper by clicking the Stop Wrapper button in the Wrapper Context menu and verify from the Services window that the wrapper service stopped correctly. Now you should start the service so you can connect to it using the OPC UA client. The wrapper service has two endpoint URLs, one for TCP protocol and another for HTTP protocol. Now we will demonstrate how to use an OPC UA client to connect to the wrapper service and read real-time data, historical data, and alarms and events. For this, we will use Integration Objects OPC UA client, which is a free tool available on our website. Open the OPC UA client and click on the Connect button in the menu bar. In the Connection Settings dialog, Click Discover to browse the UA endpoint and select the created wrapper URL. You can choose OPC TCP protocol or HTTP protocol. Configure the connection and the session with the wrapper will be created. Browse the wrapper address space. Browse the OPC DA wrapper server node, drag and drop the variable nodes from the address space browser to the data view grid view and the subscription settings dialog will be prompted. Create a new subscription or choose an existing one, press OK and the data changes will be displayed in the grid view. We will compare the data coming through the UA wrapper with the data coming directly from the OPC DA server. For this purpose, we will use an OPC DA client to directly connect to the OPC DA server. 
we connect to the OPC DA server, add a new group, add items, and view data. As you can see, we have the same data. To continue with the OPC DA feature, right-click a variable node and select read to read its value. Right-click writable variable node and select write to write value. You can see that the value was correctly changed. Browse the OPC HTA Rapid Server node, drag and drop the historical variable node from the address space browser to the history view and a new tab with the node display name will be created. You can read raw data, read processed data, read modified data and read data at time. Browse the OPC AE Rapid Server node Drag and drop the event notifier object node and the subscription settings dialog will be prompted. Press OK and the alarm and condition notifications will be displayed in the grid view. Let's now move to the security configuration. The default security mode is set to none, which means that encryption is disabled for the session. We can increase the security level as follows. Select the security modes to be associated with the Rapid servers to instruct the OPC UA client to open a secure channel with them. Only the checked security modes will be enabled from the client side. Select the user identity tokens to be supported by the wrapper. You can add a new user. Once you are done with setting security policies and user identity tokens, click the Save button to apply your changes. You will be prompted to restart it for the modifications to take effect. Restart the wrapper. In the client, you will notice that the session is down. This is expected because the wrapper service was restarted. You don't need to reconnect manually since this is done automatically. You can wait until the client reconnects and refreshes the subscriptions. Add a new session using the security modes added to the configuration. The added security modes are now enabled from the client side. You can also connect using username authentication mode. The session is created successfully. To close a session, two options are available. The first option is to right-click the session node and select Remove Session. Then click Yes to confirm. The second option is to select the session node and click the Disconnect button available in the menu bar. Then Yes to confirm. In this demo video, we briefly demonstrated the main features of our OPC UA wrapper, including how to configure a wrapper service and how to add multiple classic OPC servers per service how to connect to the service using an OPC UA client, and how to configure the security policy of the wrapper service. Integration Objects OPC UA wrapper is the best and easiest way to move your old OPC server to the unified architecture world. It guarantees a secure communication with the OPC UA clients without any configuration difficulties. Thank you for watching this video. If you need any further information, please contact us at customerservers at integrationobjects.com.